Hello, it's Claire and I'm back. I hope you're all having a good week so far. Uh, I just thought I'd come on and do a slightly different video. Um, my last video was evolving on reviews and handbags and the GHD Glide, but yes, I thought I'd do something different, something that's very relevant to me at the minute and hopefully it'll be a help to you too. So I'm a mum of two, a busy mum of two, but I'm sure any mum or a female who's working, who's busy with work, we're all busy, aren't we? Um, but I'm just going to talk a bit about what I do to sort of feel a bit together. Um, maintenance, you know, to make me feel like I'm looking my best without trying too hard, because who has the time for that? Yes, so I have two small children, um, a husband who goes out to work very early. My youngest, my son, who is one, likes to wake up anytime from 4 to 5 a.m. So the time that I have to get ready is very, very limited. And in the evenings, I'm not one of these ones that I'll sit, sit and fake tan or even do my nails very regularly. I just, I'm just always so tired. I just want to sit in front of the TV. As sad as that may sound, pretty lazy as well, but I just, I just can never be bothered. Um, but I always like to feel pulled together and looking my best. So I just thought I'd share with you what I use. Um, the first thing is actually pretty much what I've done with my hair now. I love hair accessories at the minute and it's so trendy as well. Uh, it's such a simple thing to do. So whether you're wearing an old jumper or jeans or whatever, you can just sort of dress it up and make you feel a bit pulled together by throwing on some hair accessories. This little clip here I got from Accessorize. I think it was about five pounds. Um, and I just think it just adds a little something and makes you look like you've made that extra bit of effort whenever realistically it's only being an extra one minute popping in a hair clip. The other hair accessories that I have are just hair bands. I think that one's cheap as chips from New Look or somewhere. Um, hair bubbles from Accessorize and my absolute favourite headband. This is by Hummingbird, Designs by Hummingbird. It's on Etsy anyway. Um, and honestly, it is the most beautiful hairband ever. It is black velvet and it has all these jewels on it. Yes, it's handmade by a lady who sells them on, on Etsy. And they're a bit more expensive for headbands, they're about 20 pounds, but honestly, it's just so beautifully made, it really is. And if I, pick, if I pop that on, I just feel so dressed, I really do. It looks great with big jumpers or if you have a night out, it adds that little special something. So yeah, the likes of that, so simple and quick to do, will just make me feel that wee bit better. So yes, hair accessories. Hair accessories are where it's at. And also earrings as well, but I've always been into earrings. Um, I do think that they can just add something. And again, if you're wearing something very, very plain, they can just dress it up, can't they? It's good, good way to fool people. It makes you look like you made all the effort, but reality is you just popped a few things in. So that's sort of, oh no, no, it's not the hair thing. It's not hair completed. Because the other thing that I use is I self dye my hair at home. Now that's about to change because I'm just getting too grey. It's so sad. My grey hairs are coming up really, really thick and fast now. And I'm having to dye my hair every three weeks, which is just so boring. So I'm actually at the hairdressers um, on Friday. I'm going to lighten up my hair in the hopes that I can get away with it for a bit longer. Um, hopefully it'll conceal the greys a bit more. Oh, I'm dreading it, but it has to be done. This is actually my natural colour. I've always been very, very close to black hair. Um, but this is what I use. This is what I've been using to dye it. It's actually a super drug own brand, Colour Radiance. And the reason why I use that is not only does it have really good grey coverage, but it's 10 minutes. It is 10 minutes. And for somebody like me who hates, who loathes dyeing their hair, this is perfect. It's 10 minutes long. You wash it on just like any other hair dye, leave it on for 10 minutes and you're done. So that's why I use this one. I used to use one called Perfect 10, but it just disappeared off the market. Um, so then I googled 10 minute hair dyes and this was the only one that I could find. So 10 minutes people and I think they're always on it's like two for eight pounds or something so really really cheap and quick but yes that will be finishing soon and I'm gonna to have to start um doing something else with my hair because those pesky grey hairs aging on a 
absolutely. Um, so something else that I use is what every female I think pretty much uses, fake tan. This one is by Garnier. I use this one again for quickness. Now I don't know if I would ever recommend that you use it for all over your body, but if you're hard on time and you just want to give your face, neck and arms a quick blast, I think this is probably the quickest thing you can use. It's just like almost just like an aerosol um, and you just quickly fire it over your body. You don't rub it in or do anything, you just wait to get dressed. I usually just use the hairdryer and give myself a blow with that and done. They do a face one too, but I actually use this on my face and so far it's been fine. Um, I buy the Intense colour uh, and yeah, it gives off quite a good colour. It's probably not as dark um, as maybe using your traditional, you know, mousse or lotion or whatever you use. But for me and for speediness, yeah. I think that um, if I were using a proper fake tan, I certainly wouldn't do it at all regularly. But with this, it's sort of like a little cheat. I think it's great. Really, really quick. Get the whole thing done and dusted in about three minutes. Three minutes! <laughs> um, okay, the next thing that I use, this box is falling apart. I've had it for so long. Sensational! Now, I don't traditionally use it probably in the same way everybody else uses it. It's good to be different, isn't it? I think you're meant to apply coat after coat after coat and, and then cure it with the lamp. The way I do it, because I am lazy, is I just use a standard nail varnish and then I apply the top coat of the Sensation Nail and then just cure it. So I only do one curing um, and that will eke out my nail varnish for maybe a week. If I didn't use that on top, I'd get two days out of my nail varnish because my nails just, for some reason, it just chips so badly. So yes, I paint my nails, use one coat of this over the top, cure it, and I get pretty much a week out of it. Um, again, really, really speedy. Probably if you were to do it right, you would get, I think it says that you can get, yes, up to two weeks. So probably if you did it properly, um, you would get two weeks out of it. But if you're looking for fastness, that's what I do. Normal nail varnish. Sensational top coat, cure it, done. And then the last thing, oh, where's the other one? Hold on. Oh, there it is. The last thing is also very cheap and cheerful. Um, you can see how much I've used, well, that one in particular. I think this is my second one of that colour. Um, these are the Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeshadow pencils, is that what we call them? Eyeshadow stick. Um, these are so quick, oh my goodness. So these are basically all I have been wearing lately because they are so quick. So basically you just draw on your eyelid and then I just get a little fluffy brush, buff it out, done. And this, this will stay on with no primer or anything. It'll stay on all day. I apply my makeup at about half five, six o'clock in the morning and it's still on until I'm washing my face at seven o'clock at night. They just stay, they're so good, they just stick and they're so cheap, they're cheap as chips. I think they're maybe about four pounds or something like that and I haven't found anything better. I have a beautiful by Terry one and Laura Mercier one and the colours are gorgeous but they don't stay like this. These really stay so well. And yeah, it's um, Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeshadow Stick. And I would highly recommend it. They're so good. I'm actually wearing this brownie coloured one now, which is called Trespassing Taupe. And there it is on my eyes. It's a great wearable brown colour. Uh, I think that's it. That's everything. Uh, I hope this is of some use to somebody. I think um, it's important to feel nice and feel good about yourself, isn't it? And if you're time poor, I do hope that some of these tricks will help you. Thank you for watching. Bye.